Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So in the last episode I'd automated some redstone generation or production and let's have a look at that again because I've done some more optimizations with that but it's not perfect yet so let's have a quick look downstairs and see what I've done. I also seem to have a bit of lag on my system at the moment and I'm not sure why. So what I did is I basically took all these machines apart and put them back together again. So here we've got all the chemical decomposers and they're all being fed into this, these machines here, the synthesizers. So what that's saying is that every single one of these machines here, we've got carbon coming in here, we've got iron coming in here, we've got oxygen coming in here, uh, the methylene's going out and being stored in this, not sorry, the magnesium's getting stored in this tank over here. Here we've got uh, some tin, and the last one would be copper. So that means that in every single one of these machines will have one of those, a stack of each one of those. And we've also got a stack of iron oxide, because the iron oxide is being produced in, now that's redstone, in here. So we're producing iron oxide and that's going out and coming back up into the system from where? How did we get that back? Oops, didn't mean to press that. It's coming out underneath and it's going up the top there. So basically everything that's getting produced is also ending up at the top. Now I'm not 100% happy with that, I will be honest. Because I don't like it. I prefer I would prefer it not to work that way. So maybe I'll just swap these machines over. Anyway, for the time being, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a chest on each one of these machines. So we'll have a chest for st refined steel or refined iron. A chest for this one we're not going to put into a chest. This is redstone, we'll put that into a chest and bronze. So those are the four items we're getting out of here. So let's go and do that first of all. I've got a load of iron on me as well. And actually that's, because I was moving those machines around, I thought, okay, I'll be clever. And I put the iron into here. Oops, try that again. I put all the iron into here like this, let it get processed, fed back in again. Now that actually has been a bit of a disaster. <laughs> and the reason it's a disaster is because, well, it's different. This iron here is blue. This tin here is green. And it's not the same as... We can put another tank in here like this, for instance. Oh, I did, I did disable it, in fact. Yeah, that's right. So we got an empty tank in here. I disable the input. And if we go and have a look upstairs, in this, because we've got to go upstairs and get some, uh, some chests. I think, well, actually, they're here, aren't they? At least they'll do fine. That one I can't really move, and that one I can't really move without having to move all that stuff. So let's just get some more chests from the A2 system. We've got plenty in, I think. So we need about three. We'll take four just in case. We need a fourth. And that basically means if I can't count up to three, <laughs> which is sometimes a problem. So what I'm thinking of doing is putting the chest down here like this. And the idea is, if I put the chest down and let's remove, let's break this. We don't need this in here like that. So that, oops, wrong way, wrong tool. Let's break it with this one. Come back, come back. Have I got my, oh, so I haven't got my, uh, where has it gone to? My magnet, it's not down here. Let's put my magnet down here. So we stand a chance of picking up those things. So this is the iron oxide one, I think. Yes, so that does need to go up to, into the system. This one here, I've got to do, but I've got to do it slightly differently, I think. How am I going to get, how am I going to do this? Well, I suppose it could join into this one here, couldn't it? That wouldn't be such a problem. If I join it from underneath and break this one, let's, let's do that. Let's break this one like that and then join these two up so I just need the pipe here and let's put the pipe down here that should join that to there 
it is good so that basically means it's still going up so, and coming into all those machines which is actually good I've actually don't know why I did do this for a reason but I'm not sure I need to do this anymore so let's fill this let's break this connection here and put it back over here like that and then it's sort of consistent so in each one of the, these are all busy now why are they busy it's producing magnesium oxide this is produced it's producing iron oxide it must be going somewhere so now we can put a chest break this one over here like that, and we can put a chest down here I should put it there, there isn't it and one down here like that so these should all be filling up with stacks of items and they should get full now this one's got other stuff in it which you shouldn't really have in why has this got other stuff in here probably because it was connected up to something else yeah this is fine 56 okay good so we've got tin and iron oxide all the iron oxide we can put into the redstone producer which is this one here it doesn't matter having extra so shift that click in there and, and we can do the same where's the other one I thought there were two bottles oh, no, I think the other ones in the machine so that's copper I that's blue the copper and the iron's blue too it's really funny that I was surprised about that when I did it and here we don't need what have we got in here that's carbon carbon can go into the steel producing one here and we get extra we can put it in there like that no problem in fact we can also put all the iron in here as well and they can make steel and that will then come out of the system and end up being a steel ingots and here's we can take these out now saw that chest and do the same thing again iron oxide oh yes it's iron oxide I'll leave the iron oxide in there because it will come back in again if I remove it here's the other place for the iron oxide as you see so all of these things will remain constant if I actually swap the oxygen over for this one it'll remain constant like that so none of these will ever change because they're not used in this process and it, that's okay I don't think that's going to be a problem and the same here we've got basically tin and copper which are coming in hopefully the tin's coming in and why is the tin not coming in? So we'll check the tin. Copper. Tin. Tin's going out. It's probably just searching for the location. That's the disadvantage of this setup. This it's got to search for locations. We'll come back in a while. So that's got 63 there. That's got 63 on that one. And we should just go. And those are going up, you see. So that's working just fine. Phew. In fact, what I could do is move these two chests across. And that actually seems to be a lot neater now, doesn't it? It's sort of a, a nicer sort of layout, if you see what I mean. It's a, it appears more symmetrical. And probably what I should do is probably move the other one around. Let's just... I don't like things connecting when they don't look as though they should connect. There we are. Like that. And that should all working. So, that's that done. The next thing I'd like to do is to make some let's make a magnum torch so that was just the wrong one let me just take my this and put that chest back in there i've got this tin in here which is not so good and i'd like to get rid of the iron and stuff that's in here so if i got actually see you see here i've got iron 16 buckets and a bit more so we've now got two full tanks of iron so i can take that out of there like that and this one here is copper we've got 162 buckets of copper which is a lot <laughs> I have a problem putting that back in um, I suppose the only way to do that is to put in the uh, tubes into here and hopefully they come in but I don't think that works anyway that's the side so where have I got this I've got some magnum torches somewhere oh I know where they are I think I do anyway nope they're not there they're not magnum torches they're um, chandeliers let's have a look yes here we got one where are the other five I should have five of those somewhere about huh. 
The recipe for them is very simple, actually. But I don't know what I've done with them. Hmm. That's a pain. In fact, you see, I've got this duplicate chest. I made another one just because I was planning to go to a different planet. I was thinking about going to Venus, and I was going, well, I'm actually not sure about Venus, what I can do in Venus. Still looking for these chandeliers, by the way. I know they're about somewhere. Wouldn't have put them in there. I know where they might be. They might be downstairs in my double chest here. Yes, five. And I actually want to show you something else as well. Which will come which actually we'll do as we make these things here. So what we need to do, we want to make a magnum torch. It's magnum isn't yes, here we are. Mag magnum um torch, this one. And we make this in the QED. So first of all we've got to build a QED. So let's do that. We also need some potions. I think that's not going to be too much of a problem. But we'll start with doing the QED. So let's have a look at the QED recipe because the QED is also a pretty useful item. Is this one. So what we need is ender pearls. In fact, I actually have a list of what I need. So we we need ender pearl, ender eye. Sorry. So let's get these going. And I think I need three of these. So we'll make three of these to start with. Maybe I'll make more actually. So, we'll, so we need some blaze powder. I've got eight, so I'll do four ender eyes and some ender pearls. Did I just press them? All right, let me move around. We've got four, eight ender eyes, brilliant. I didn't mean to do that, that's okay. And then, we need this ender obfused obsidian and a crafting table. So we'll do the crafting table first, like that. And then it's an ender infused obsidian. And for that, we need three sets, I think. Now I reckon I haven't got any down here. So let's go and get three sets. So that's three fourths of 12 obsidian. Let's take a stack of obsidian. Cause that will regenerate itself quite nicely. Go to the right room. It should be easy now. I've got the double doorways. It doesn't seem to be. Let's do. Let's do four sets. Oops, that's three sets. Okay, that'll give me twelve. Actually, it's what I really wanted, so I'll put them in now. Put those away. No, I need five sets of that. I. No, I think that's okay. So let's go back to this. What else do we need? We need this, the diamond etch computational matrix. So we need for this burnt quartz. Now burnt quartz, we take a block of quartz. Now a block of quartz we can make using um, pure nether crystals, quartz crystals, or using nether quartz. Now we have quite a lot of quartz, nether quartz crystals, and we can do the same thing actually. Where have we got it? Here we are. So I can make this, we need four of these. Like that. And with, the, with, with these, you can also craft those. If you actually put those, I think you can make all sorts of things to look at the uses of that. You can basically make stairs and stuff like that. So there are actually 19 different recipes, mostly others to do with coloring, quartz, slabs, and of course, quartz stuff. What else can we do? And that's basically it. We can make a, a block mold and we can macerate it, which we can also do using and with a redstone furnace we'll make it to burnt quartz and pulverize it to four nether quartz. So that's one way of getting nether quartz. That's really what I wanted to show. I think we can probably de can we decompose this? Yes we can. To 16 of those and four and that's I think that's all recipe for nether quartz as well so double check that that would give me four nether quartz so look at the recipe for this 
in the mind can we so that's four of those and one of those which is exactly right so you don't get any benefit but you can do it this way it's pretty good actually but anyway we want to take these four and we want to burn them so let's go and burn those and you can do something very similar with both the fluid crystals and four we've got our four bent quartz in here that stuff's building up nicely as you can see I should do something out there in the next next episode I reckon we can finish off that quest actually I was half intending to do a quest on this one I was think I was giving up with them um, what was I giving up with giving up with trying to do the um octuple compressed cobblestone I think I might just use the diamonds instead anyway let's carry on with this so this is what we need so we should be able to do one of these now right so we've got that so now we should be able to make this indeed so we've now got our QED now the QED is from extra utilities and we also need the laser I don't know what it's called off the top of my head so let's have a look at the extra utilities let's see if we can find it actually there's rather a lot of pages in this can I do space U will that help me yes it will actually that's reduced the list down quite a lot so the pages loaded tanks should be should be here but it's not ah oh, there we go so it's the ender crystal ender flux crystal so that's we can make those as well so i've got one of those and i've got two ender confused obsidian left over and i've got some eyes of ender i thought they would should have been used up uh, maybe I've got some others in stock here. I know. Okay, anyway, it doesn't matter very much. What we can now do is we can put this down. It doesn't actually matter where we put it down. We'll put it down. See, so I like it on the wall so you get access to it. I need to put the crystal, this ender crystal so it doesn't need any power. So then you've got access to this. Now, what we also need, let's have a look at the recipe for, for our magnum torch again. In fact, it might be part of extra utilities, I think. There it is, look. So, two blocks of wood, any type, and a potion of healing. So, we've got to make a brewing stand. So, let's do that next. So, I think... Sure, where I was it? I think we can put these into here, like... Like that. Yes, that's right. And any type of wood will do. Let's just get two pieces of wood out of here. Like that. I've got lots of seeds around it is when I was doing that. So we'll leave that like that for the time being. So we now need a brewing stand. So what do we have to do for a brewing stand? I think it's just blaze rods, isn't it? And stone. Oh cobblestone. One blaze rod, three cobblestone. Okay. So we have a brewing, a brewing stand. Now we also need some glass bottles to put on that, don't we? I oh, can't do it that way. So we basically need these. So we'll make three, six. We'll make six. Because we can do these in threes. And also we've got to make some nether court and some soul sand. Oddly enough, not that difficult. So let's put the brings down down, say here. And then we can put, we need some water bottles. So these need to be filled with water. So we should be able to do that, in fact, in here. Let's select water. Push those three into there like that. Yes, that's gonna work. So we have our six bottles of water. Shame that they don't stack actually. I've forgotten about that. Let's put these into here. So now we need some nether wart. So the way we're going to get nether wart is by mine chemming it. So let's have a look how we do nether wart. Um, done bottles. We've got blue nether wart. Okay. 
So we need this cocaine, cocaine hydrochloride. Quite a recipe. So what do we need for that one? So it looks probably a set of things that we actually have to. Nope, that's decomposing. I want to. Well, that's decomposing. Sorry, let's go back. Ah, here we go. So cocaine, and I think NO4. Let's see what cocaine is made out of. Okay, it's made out of different things. Cocaine, that's a chemical decomposer. That's how you get it, yeah? So we also need to see if there's a recipe for to do that from the synthesizer. Okay, good. So it is fairly straightforward. C17, H21, and N, and O4. So let's have a look. I haven't got much stuff up here anymore because I've removed it all downstairs. So let's go down. H we can get from this from the system we got plenty of H in here now there we go 11,000 H and we should have down in this chest here nitrogen if I can see it if not we can easily make some more I can't see any nitrogen there can you sodium no have we got what have we got nitrate well actually let's decompose some nitrate while we're here because that will give us both the n and the o so we just need some c i think so we've got plenty of c in this system over here which one is the carbon oh that's the oh sorry this is probably the synthesizer that's iron this must be carbon so we can take a few stacks of carbon with us like that. In fact, there's probably some carbon in one of these. Yes, there is. Caches. I could probably take that back with me upstairs, couldn't I? Let's do that. I might not actually have space, but yeah, I didn't think I'd got space. Let's go upstairs and we'll put these into the synthesizer. So I've got nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, and carbon. Remove this. So it was. C17 wasn't it? I think. Let me just check. It's a synthesizer. Yeah, C17, H21, and O4. So let's do that. That will give me 8, 9, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, H21. Ah, how difficult to get to my hydrogen. Where's it gone to? I'm missing something over. There we go. And then N1 and O4. Okay, great. After my last experiences with drugs, I might not be tempted to make to use this cocaine in any shape or form. Let's take another stack of hydrogen. Oh, I did only got one, didn't I? So I can't use the hammers on this. I've got to use the get it manually. Two, three, three will do. I'm full of tanks. Let's just remove these tanks out of the way. That should do. We should have a few cocaines now. Oh, don't they stack? They probably do actually. Just have to click. What? That is not right. I've seen this before. There is a bug. There's not. There is definitely a bug. I've only got one cocaine. Doesn't matter. What we'll do is we'll. Put, <laughs> well, it does matter really. After all that work going upstairs, downstairs. Let's put this cocaine into the mic, into the microscope with my book, which I don't have around. Where's my book gone to? Yeah. 
I've got to go and find my chemist journal now. I think that might be downstairs actually. Let's just have a look in this double chest here. Yes, it is. So, chemist journal. Cocaine, I didn't take out of the book here, uh, out of the chest here. Take that out of the chest. Let's put it in like that. So we've got our co cocaine. I'll leave that in there. What was the other? What was the other thing we needed for this? Hydrogen chloride. I guess that's just one hydrogen and one chlorine. Well, we actually have plenty of hydrogen and chlorine. So let's go. Hyd that's chlorine and hydrogen. We can go and get again. Take a snack of each of those. We'll make one, put it in the book, and then put the recipe in. It should work properly. I'm just removing these items out of here. So, one chlorine and one with hydrogen. I should have a stack of hydrogen here. Let's clear this off. And I don't think it matters where we put it. No. See, that's going down there nicely now. But it's coming into here. So I think if I take each one of these... Oh. Something is definitely wrong there. Look at the state of that. So let's sort this chest again. We get one. It doesn't want to stack. It's most peculiar. I don't understand. So let's put this into the book. Take the book out of here. This is not good at all. I don't know what's going on. It must be. So we've got our hydrogen and where's our cocaine then? Oh, that's wrong. It should have been 04, not 01. Okay, let's just select that one. And then we can possibly, and I'm not sure about this, let's put this recipe in here like that. And then if we put another 3 O in here, and we can take this one out if we've got enough carbon, which we haven't. Oh, we haven't got, we've got enough hydrogen. Let's put, create half of those. What else do we need? Nitrogen, one. Oxygen, we've got plenty. Uh, oh, nitrogen and carbon. Carbon, carbon, carbon. I should have brought that. That. that uh, oh, I tried to get it, didn't I? I was full of stuff. It should probably be in this hopper here. In this one, yes, it is. And I've got some cables and other bits and pieces in there. It's not so good. So I could put this now down somewhere like that and then take a stack of carbon out of there and then I should be able to make one of these. Cocaine, okay, good. This is strange. I don't fully understand what's going on there. Let's put this into the book. Right now. Try that again. So I've got cocaine, which we should be able to make stacks of. If I put this into the here now, I hope this works properly. So what are we short of? Hydrogen, nitrogen, that's it done. That, you see, very strange. I just put that on top of there. Okay, that's that one. And the other one is... I wonder what's going on here. Let me just do an empty reload. Because I haven't done that today. And let's pick this hydro hydrogen chloride out of here. Wow. 
have we got any chloride yes we have I got 10 so shift clicking it seems to work it might be to do with this because I replaced some you know it shouldn't be let's just break it don't ask me what's going on there I'm not happy with that that's not working as it should do at all I'll put this down here like that fill it up as much as possible there's still a space under neat there so doesn't matter very much so now after all this messing around I should be able to produce what we need to make another wart which way around so you go cocaine and hydrogen chloride okay cocaine and hydrogen chloride of course it won't do it won't misbehave itself now hydrogen chloride oh, it's still in the book yep that's fine I need to basically do that again cocaine and hydrogen chloride where's it gone to carbon so we have three let's go and put this into the microscope I should leave the microscope in there so now what we have to do is to put these two I think they just go in the top let's put one in the top left yes and then we get three another wart fantastic that was hard work much harder than it should have been soul sand is basically what soul sand sand in which water so which water is pretty straightforward let's get some buckets I've got some buckets in here no I've got three buckets on me let's just clear the minerals out of here and then select water which is selected and select these out of here like that and then we just need some sand we should probably go in here actually yep so let's go and do that so basically what I'm not going to do is finish this off today and it is night time so I probably should sleep So in here we put in some water. That's going to transform to which water? Actually, very fast as it happens. Put the sand down here. Get another bucket of water out. Ninety-five percent. So select that. So we've now got soul sand. Do it again. While that's doing that, let's just put this soul sand down somewhere. Doesn't matter where we put it really, we can put it down here. Oh, not such a good choice, never mind. Let's find somewhere else that's a bit of a better choice. Here. Let's get the second one going. And then the last bucket of water. I do need a sand, don't I? put the bucket of water in there and then we can plant the soil sand down here and on the soil sand we can put the nether wart and that will grow up in its own good time what I need to do put into here the sand So while the next episode, we'll have lots of not, we'll have enough um, nether wart to start processing some of these things. So I think that's it for today. So until next time, I'm going to say bye for now, and I wish you all the best.